Frank Ocean is one of those rare artists that remains extremely popular despite very rarely releasing music. With only two full-length albums to his name and no new music since 2020, he remains in the top 150 most listened to artists on Spotify with over 30 million monthly listeners. In this video, I'm going to be creating a beat from scratch using Channel Orange as my main inspiration. I'm going to go over three key things that Frank loves to do in his music that you can take into your own productions. And we're going to have some fun along the way. I've also created a course around this beat, giving you a super detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to create beats just like this one. It's showing my full thought process behind my decisions so you can create your own beats in this lane. If that's something you'd be interested in, it's the first link in the description. Check it out after the video. I've set the tempo here to 148. So we've got Analog Lab loaded up. Let's get a progression recorded in. Easy, first time, you love to see it. So I'm really feeling this needs some additional width, so I'm gonna pull up this Tal Chorus. It's actually a free plugin, so strong recommend on that. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, let's add in some ambience using Spaced Out. Let's try getting something on top. I think what we want now is a bit of ambience, probably from a Valhalla or something similar. Now we've got two nice elements here, but I think there could be one additional keys layer underneath just supporting it. Lovely. And now, because this is a, just a VST piano, it usually needs a little bit of extra saturation, extra flavour to get it actually sounding, you know, realistic, so... Lovely. Okay. Next up, drums. I have to say I do like that. I do really like that. Now let's add in that hi-hat. sound half bad if I do say so myself then I'm thinking just maybe get some of this in the middle somewhere I don't really know but it's sounding good <laughs> definitely played a few out of time there but I'm not mad about it really right Love that so far. Really simple basic groove, but it's, it's perfect for Frank in my opinion. I don't know, it's, that's hitting the spot for me. And I want to try out putting some delay on that snare. That sounds amazing to me. Okay, bass up next. Let's go. So as you can see, I'm just bringing up the low in a bit, cutting a little bit of low mids because there's loads going on there, and cutting a shelf at 20 hertz just to get any like rumble out of there. Sounding fantastic in my opinion. Let's hear that slide as well. Awesome. Okay, we're moving on to the next key element in Frank's music, which is some melodic guitar. Now, I'm not a great guitarist, so I'm gonna load up some contact and get something sounding great. Mm. 
Love that. That is, that is gorgeous. Played that in first time, and that's what we like to see. Could maybe use some chorus again. And put it at the start of the chain. That's lovely. Now, the last key element of Frank's music that I want to cover today is ear candy. Frank is amazing at putting ear candy in his music, so let's get into that. I think one of the first things we could add in here is some sort of like choir vocal that we can process and tweak and make it sound like a real choir. Nice and easy. It's not sounding great. Way too loud. Ah, and that sounds fantastic. Now, I'm thinking just a super simple Valhalla on here. A little 20% mix on that. Let's hear that. So let's add another piece of ear candy. Let's add a little kind of, some sort of light little synth line. Hell yeah, that is awesome. It needs a short reverb. Let's try seventh heaven. Let's try getting a plate, something old plate. Let's try that, turn the wet down. That's giving it the life we want. Okay, so last bit of ear candy before we wrap up the beat. I've got this really simple little Forno Omnisphere part going through a crystallizer on, to be honest, the default preset. A little bit of Echo Boy that I've tweaked and this Valhalla. Got that sounding like this. A nice little texture. And now we're gonna render that out and add some more processing to that. I think let's give it a half time and then some firm sidechain compression. Okay, that rounds off the beat. We've taken a look at some of the awesome musical elements that Frank likes to use in his music, like the chord progressions, the melodic guitars, and the ear candy. Cheers, and let's take one final listen to the beat. See you in the next one. Peace.